distribute special gifts during the festival seasons of Ramzan and Christmas. The women of the state are given saris during Badukama festival. As a government which is concerned about the welfare of every community of the state, we have started Brahmin Sanshema Parishad to work for the welfare of the poor families within the Brahmin community. This Parishad provides financial assistance for overseas education as well as employment generation schemes. The government has created a welfare trust with 100 crore rupees of corpus for journalists and also for advocates. A number of welfare measures and insurance schemes are operated by these trusts. In several categories of jobs, the state government employees are among the highest paid in the country. This clearly shows the friendly attitude of the state government towards the employees. Appointment in government jobs. There is a fear of recession across the world. In such a scenario, a large number of multinational companies are restoring to laying off their employees. Even in such difficult situation, the Telangana government is fulfilling its promise of recruitment to a large number of government jobs. As announced, the government has taken up recruitment of 80,039 jobs across all the departments in one go. In addition to this, the process of regulation, regularization of the contract employees is also going on to ensure that 95% of the jobs go only to the local candidates. The organization of the jobs into local cadres was done. For this, the state was able to get a new presidential order issued under Article 371D of the Constitution. Of the Constitution. From 2014 onwards till February 2022, my government has been able to fill up 1,41,735 jobs through the direct recruitment mode. In all, Telangana state is taking in all Telangana state is taking up recruitments to 2,21,774 jobs in a short period of eight and a half years is creating history. Education development. To provide high quality education to students from poor families, along with nutritious food, my government has given utmost importance to residential education. We are proud that no other state in the country has more than 1,000 res residential educational institutions. The students of these institutions have performed very well at national and international level. They have been admitted to prestigious institutions and universities across the world. The government has started the massive scheme uh, in education known as Manavur, Manapadi, and Manapals Basti Manapadi. The scheme is aimed at providing infrastructure in the government schools, which is on par with the best of the corporate schools and provide high quality education to the students from poor and marginalized communities. As part of the scheme, the government proposed to spend rupees 7,289 crores in 26,065 schools to provide 12 different kinds of basic amenities. All the works under this program are going on at brisk pace. Already in several schools, the works are completed and these facilities are put to use. Public health. Nidhi Ayok has placed Telangana at number three in the country in terms of provision of health care of high quality. The government has improved the basic infrastructure facilities in all hospitals of the state. T diagnostic centers are established in 20 districts so far, and the balanced 13 districts also are going to be established. A total of 104 dialysis centers are presently in the operation across the state. Oxygen beds are established in all the hospitals of the state. Four super specialty hospitals are going to be constructed across four different directions in, the, in Hyderabad. It is planned to add 2,000 more beds in NIMS. In Varangal, a super specialty hospital with 2,000 beds is under rapid construction with an outlay of 1,100 crores. There were only three hospitals in the Telangana region which were established during the combined state's rule. My, <coughs> my government is moving forward with the aim of establishing a new medical college in every district. So far, 12 new medical colleges have been established with this total number of 17 medical college in 16 districts have come to have come into existence they are providing medical education to students as well as treatment for patients we will have nine more medical colleges which will be established during the current financial year the government has established 342 basti dawakanas for the poor people in urban areas the dawakanas 
or providing excellent services. Inspired by their success, the government has decided to establish Palle Dawakanas. Telangana has made commendable progress in various health indicators due to interventions such as KCR kits, nutrition kits, Aurogya Lakshmi, and several more. The deliveries in government institutions were only 30% before the formation of the state. Due to the effective measures taken by my government, it has gone up to 61%. Similarly, the maternal mortality rate was 92 for every 1 lakh deliveries. By 2022, MMR has come down to 43. The infant mortality rate in 2014 was 39 per every 1,000 births. By 2022, this has come down to 21. Palle and Patana Pragadi. Palle Pragadi program was introduced by my government across the rural areas of the state. With this, the quality of life in rural areas has increased significantly. With excellent coordination between the government and the local bodies, a very good plan was implemented, which has resulted in improved sanitation and green cover. Every gram panchayat of the state today has basic infrastructure such as tractor, trolley, dump yard, nursery, palla prakriti, vanalu, and vaikunda damams. I am very happy to inform you that in the awards which are announced by the central government for the gram panchayats, Telangana is getting the lion's share. The status of sanitation improved with the implementation of Patana Pragati program. This has led, led to an improvement in the functioning of urban local bodies. Some of the facilities which are now being provided across the cities are integrated veg and non-veg markets, public toilets, and Vaikunda Damams with modern amenities. The union government recently announced awards in several categories for the best performing cities and towns. With 26 awards, Telangana is one of the top performers. It is noteworthy that 75% of the awards given to southern states were bagged by Telangana. Haridaharam. The Telangana government has undertaken Haridaharam program to maintain ecological balance. The program has utmost importance and people are participating in it like, mo like a movement. In Telangana today, there is abundant greenery in every village. Forest Survey of India in its report has stated that the green cover in Telangana has increased by 7.7%. Hyderabad city has been recognized as the tree city of the world. Industry and IT sector development. My government introduced TSI pass with the aim of developing development of industry and IT sectors. This has brought a revolutionary change in these sectors. 24 hours good quality power, safety and security provided to all sections of society have ensured that there is a flood of investments from both international and national companies. Industrial production has increased significantly. Further, employment generation also has happened on a large scale. Over the past eight and a half years, IT and industry sector, Telangana, industry sector, Telangana has been able to attract investments to the tune of 3 lakh 31,000 crores, the IT sector has shown an employment growth rate of 140%. Reconstruction of Yadagiri Kutta Temple. Reconstruction of Yadagiri Kutta Temple is a historic wonder. Lord Narasimha Swami is worshipped by all Telangana people. My government has reconstructed the temple in a glorious manner. It is built such that the spirit of the Lord is felt at every corner of the temple. Naming of new secretariat of Ter Baba Saheb Ambedkar. In a manner befitting the new state, the new secretariat building is being constructed. I congratulate the government in this august house for deciding to name the new secretariat in the name of the architect of the Indian constitution, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. To ensure effective governance, the government has provided modern facilities which are on par with international standards. I feel happy to inform you that an 125 feet tall statue of Ambedkar is under installation by the side of the new secretary. The, the statue is a befitting tribute 
to the great B.R. Ambedkar. Similarly, on the opposite side of the new secretariat, the Martyrs Memorial is also getting ready for inauguration. My government has increased the number of districts to 33 to take governance closer to the people. A new integrated district office complexes are constructed in a spacious manner with all facilities. Public safety and security. The people of the state are able to lead a peaceful life due to effective maintenance of law and order. To control the crime, the government has deployed 9.8 lakh CCTV cameras across the state. This is the largest such deployment in any state. The newly established command and control center will help the state to effectively supervise relief activities during any calamity or emergency. The command and control center is established with world-class standards. My government has an equal focus on welfare and development. We are progressing fast, fast along the path of the development. Even though we are only eight and a half years old, we are already a role model for the entire country. There is a discussion going across the country about Telangana development model. My government promises to the people of the state that we will move forward with the same inspiration and sincerity with which we have worked so far. Karuvandu, Kattakamandu, Mandu, Kanipinchani, Kalalepdo, Pasipapale, Nidura, Kanulalo, Musirine, Bavitavyam, Yento. As penned by brave Telugu poet and the freedom fighter, late Sri Dasari, Dasaridi Krishnamacharya Garu, let us all strive for the world that befit of, that is, befit of drought and hunger, left us all strive to build a bright future that is full of hope and positive dreams for the children. Jaya Jaya He Telangana. Jai Telangana, Jai Hind.